This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. I'm not being paid, they simply sent me the pack early. So today I kinda wanna try and build a little starter home with the new pack for a couple reasons. Number one, cause starter home's really useful. And then if you buy the pack, you could start off in a little Simsy house, you know? But number two, because I made this Sim and I kinda wanna make a little mini Let's Play or at least some sort of gameplay video with her. And she's gonna need somewhere to live. So I brought us up to the top of a mountain next to a waterfall and we have 20,000 simoleons. And I'm thinking we could try and make something cute today. I'm feeling kind of inspired by this house. Obviously ours is probably gonna be a little bit less um, cute because <laughs> we only have 20,000 simoleons. To be fair, there's a lot of really good debug landscaping. I'm kind of thinking we could have a little cottage type house over here, maybe in the front with like some plants behind it, like crops, and then some like cows and chickens over here. I don't know. Either way, we'll figure it out. Oh, if we're feeling real fancy, we could have a pond. I should stop doing that. I, I gotta stop. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. But the ponds are free, so like, honestly, it's a good way to fill up space. I'm just saying. See, I kind of want to base the exterior of the house on the interior, which sounds like the obvious choice, but I don't usually do that. <laughs> like most of the time when I build my houses, I just make them look good from the outside, but not the inside. So this is actually unusual for me. I know that sounds silly, but it's true. <laughs> How weird would it be to have like a sort of rounded little bit? Also, can I fit like a, a dormer up here or is it too small? I don't know. I mean, we can make the, the house wider. It works. I feel like I can't really very easily have um, the crops in the back of the house like I thought I would. <laughs> I don't know, we can figure it out. All right, so I'm thinking some sort of thatched roof. I don't know why this thatched roof, do you remember the thatched roof that came with Island Living? They like painted the underside with that one, but they didn't do that with this one. Okay, that could be the kitchen. That could be the bedroom. We could have a little bathroom like that with a hallway, small dining table, living room, done, easy. There's even enough space to ultimately have like a small attic upstairs, but we're not gonna worry about that for now. Oh, I hadn't really considered how expensive it might end up up being to have like fencing. <laughs> Does that make sense? I didn't really think about the price of fencing. Oh, I guess the plants could come in here. Could do them like this. It only cost 10 simoleons for these patches. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we could have the, the plants like that. Okay, that makes sense to me. And then like the barn. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> okay. I realize now I probably should have thought that through. <laughs> like why didn't I look at how big the barn was before I made the patch for it? No, that should be fine. And then we can have a little chicken coop in the corner like this. I love how this barn looks. Okay, blue suburban chicken coop, okay. Well, now I'm wondering if we went for like a darker thatched roof. No. How much do the roof pieces cost? 60 simoleons. That's expensive. Like, is that worth putting on a house that's like a starter home? Wait, I kind of love that. <gasps> it's cute. That's 400 simoleons. Oh my God. Okay, they don't get one in the back. <laughs> If that's gonna be 400 simoleons, then you're not getting one in the back of the house. The doors are all really cheap. 40 simoleons. I'm into that. How much do the windows cost? 30? 30? Oh, good. I kind of want to do it in like this color. Ooh, that's kind of cool. These windows feel so fancy. <laughs> I feel really special. Okay, now you're upsetting me. The roof pieces are so like weird and glitchy in The Sims 4. Have you noticed that? That door? Oh my god, it's beautiful. What kind of cottage is this? <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, even these new fireplaces are cheaper than the current fireplace in the base game, I'm just saying. This one's 600, this one's 500, therefore I'm allowed to use it because it's cheap. Okay, cheap is probably the wrong word. <laughs> it's not cheap, but it's also not expensive. I don't think I've ever used this floor. Do you want to try and use it? Something about it's a bit ugly in a way that I kind of like. I honestly don't think I've ever used that ever in my entire life. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> Let's use it now. Okay, the couch is a bit expensive too, but that's okay. I'm fine with something on the slightly more expensive side. Oh, I put the table legs right in the bunny's eyes. I can stab the bunnies with a table leg. <laughs> That's bad. Honestly, this house's layout is pretty good. Okay, bathtub, no shower, toilet. Oh, the new sink is cheap too. It's only 125 simoleons. They know the way to my heart and it's cheap sinks. Oh, I kind of like, look at the colors. They've got like a gold one as well. I'm gonna use that one. Can we even afford the new bed? Thousand simoleons? <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is probably a no. <laughs> I think we probably can't afford the new bed, but I want it. I don't know how much is too much. I think I probably should leave it like this. 
I think this is a decent amount. Okay, I don't know if we can get much more furniture in here. <laughs> it's a bit tight. It is a miracle that we have debug landscaping. Let me just say that now. <laughs> if we did not, I think we'd be having big problems. Oh, do you think I could do it like this? Can I scoot the house over again? Yes, that is good. We could probably even make like the animals area a tiny bit bigger. Oh, it was the gate. Oh, <laughs> I was sitting here wondering why I couldn't delete it. It was the gate. That's why I couldn't delete it. Okay, that's embarrassing. Oh, not again with the roof pieces. Bowl cut roof toupee. I like that it's called that. That amuses me. Okay, the counters are one of the cheapest counters in the game as well. So that works out well for us. They're only 175 simoleons. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of this stuff is really cheap. So this stuff is pretty decent for starter homes. Fridge is 500. Stove is 600. Sink is 150. See, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I kind of wish there was a table in here or something. I feel like the room is a bit big. <laughs> But we only have 3,000 simoleons left, so I probably shouldn't do that. What I should do is spend money on bricks. We haven't painted the house yet. All right, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the landscaping. <laughs> See, that's pretty good, right? Maybe we can make a little, like, fake pathway that takes you through the inside of this building. I mean, pen. It's not a building. <laughs> this is a- this is not a building. Well, that could be good. I don't know why it's there, but maybe you want to walk through the- the chicken coop and the cows and spend money for for a gate that we can't afford. <laughs> I don't know. I think once we get some landscaping, it'll like come together a bit more. All right, we'll get a little bit of dirt underneath. Ooh, not that much dirt. A little bit of dirt underneath each of these things. I feel like that just makes them feel like they blend in so much more to the ground, you know? Like it makes so much more sense. You could probably put some light dirt underneath the cow area too and underneath the chickens. I feel like that makes sense. All right, let me spend the rest of my money like <laughs> working on the interior of this building. And then if we have extra, then we can start talking about like other things want to do with this place because I really wanted to get like actual lights like nice ones because there's so many good lights in this new pack so I really want to use them see even like this little one how cute is that we can't just not use that <laughs> we have this adorable new lantern outside too oh not enough money left oh I need a trash can oops that's useful, maybe. <laughs> okay, we'll get a trash can. We need a little one for indoors too. There's pub posters and this that come with the pack. We can always hang up this little painting. I sized it up. It's only 150. We've got this fiddle leaf plant. That's only 50. Oh, wait, I want to use these. See, look how cute. We must, except for the fact that we only have 1700 simoleons left. Oh, okay. It's fine, we got debug landscaping. Maybe I'll do brick in the kitchen behind the behind the counter. And then nothing stopping us from having a fun pattern in the bathroom, I don't know, <laughs> could do that. Oh, actually, I like this so much. <gasps> no, keep that. We'll do something like that in the bathroom. Okay, maybe, oh, we could always get a little TV this way. 500 simoleons for a little tiny one. <laughs> no, that lamp looks horrible, I can't do that. We have to use like this one. Yeah, that's better. I wish we had more paintings that were cheaper. This one is cheap. It's just, I need cheaper. <laughs> oh, this is only 75. What does that look like? Are there swatches that, I mean, these are all very like pub sign type. Yeah, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> this is only a hundred. We totally cannot afford it though. We probably can afford this thing. Little shelf by the door. We put this one in the kitchen. 150? That is absurd. <laughs> How am I supposed to? Lord, we only have 400 more simoleons. But there's so many cute little kitchen things. Why does the chicken have to be that so much money? Why, why are chickens so expensive? Okay, let's just call it at that and we'll do the landscaping and spend our last 200 simoleons a little bit more wisely. Show live edit objects. All right, debug is a rough one to get to. <laughs> oh, see like the hay bale? 100 simoleons. Absurd, we aren't, we're not made of money. Oh, we could definitely put a big tree in the corner of this area. And then maybe like that tree again, but size down ever so slightly at the back. It's not clipping. Yeah, I feel like that works. Another one of these back there too. <laughs> I don't know. It blends in with the area. Like they've got a bunch of them. I love debug. <laughs> I love having free stuff. Okay, those plants by default go around a corner like this. Wait, can I use this somewhere? Yeah, that kind of fits along the path. Isn't that so nice? It's totally in the way of the cows. I don't know what happens if you've got like little flowers in the way of the cows, <laughs> but wouldn't it be so cute if we had like little wildflowers planted along the path? See, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs. Crumplebottom's purse? Oh, <laughs> wait. Do you want to put that in here too? No, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm putting mushrooms by this tree. Yes. Perhaps we could use this bush along the side. Stick the trash can. I want to hide the trash can somewhere, but I'm not really sure where the best place to do that is. Maybe just back here, honestly. Okay, this gnome 
is from Debug, therefore it is free. It's meant to cost money, but we can use the free one. Ooh. Do you think that would be a fun thing to put underneath the bushes? I kind of like the idea of that. Okay, I need to get um some more money because <laughs> I want to hide that. Well, I need to put- okay, let me do it now. See, because it, it can be hidden. I just got to get some furniture I can't afford. Look at this. I used this in my last build too, but I feel like that is actually really good to put right here. I love this. I'm having so much fun. It's so like landscaped. <laughs> I was gonna say it's so planty, but that's weird. You know what I mean? I feel like the fact that this is a starter home is a miracle. Like you would never look at this and think, oh, starter home. Granted, it's it's cutting it real close to not being a starter home, but it is a starter home. Okay, I'm just putting some terrain paint underneath all of these plants. I kind of want to put some little terrain paint underneath the whole house like I always do. You know, you go around the sides and slightly paint the terrain <laughs> ever so slightly. Yes, I love this. Okay, I'm not sure what more we could add, <laughs> considering how um close we are to our budget. I know there is a free bunny rabbit. It's like this thing, but free. I know there's one because I've used it. I just didn't find it. This old bike is so cute. Well, they have a few debug things that we could put. Like this is free debug as well. Maybe I'll put that there. Look at these. Maybe we put this like fake, fake box of onions or something over here. I don't know. No, I shouldn't do that. This is a classic case of just because you can doesn't mean you should. I'm like finding things in debug and being like, ooh, I'll use that. Oh, how about this? Just stop. Just stop, Kayla. I mean, as far as other stuff goes, maybe a picnic basket could be a useful spend. Okay, we have 10 simoleons left. I think I gotta stop. I'm gonna change all the lights in here to be a bit more yellow toned. And in total, it costs 19,990. Oh no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna have fun playing in it with my 10 simoleons that I have left over. We can't even buy cows to like test them out because I only have 10 simoleons. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it there. I really like this house. I'm having a lot of fun with this pack. I think my favorite stuff in the pack is the landscaping as well. And it's not even actually in the game, like it's in debug. But the new flowers, oh, they're just speaking to me. I'm having so much fun with them. Anyway, eventually I'll put this in the gallery for you. I literally cannot save things to the gallery right now. Look at this. When you try, there was an error saving this lot to my library. Like you, I literally can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's because this version of the game with like the weird watermarks and stuff doesn't let you save things to the library or the gallery. So hopefully once the game comes out, I'll have to like take this save and put it in my actual game and like, ah. Uh. But I will put it up eventually. <laughs> Fingers crossed these saves don't break because this isn't actually final software. Like the game's not done yet. So hopefully these saves work in the final version of the game. If not, the builds will literally just be lost. But fingers crossed that doesn't happen because I would be sad. And on that note, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. <laughs>